Babae sa coffee shop, kinaawaan at pinost sa social media dahil mag-isa lang daw siya? Paano naman kung gusto lang talaga mapag-isa? Normalize eating alone. Me time tawag dyan, b****. Pinagdadaanan ng po***. Sarsisisin ba to? M***, don't skip your medicine. What the f***, heck were you thinking? The best Delulu Awards goes to you. Hindi lahat ng mag-isa ay malungkot na. King p***a. Yo, what's up? This is Real Talk Tarps, ang pambansang issue analyzer ng Pilipinas wherein I'm trying to influence you how to think critically about sa mga trending social issues ngayon dito sa Pilipinas. And today, we're gonna be talking about another viral issue patungkol sa isang netizen na nagpost online ng picture ng isang stranger dahil daw alone ito. Totoo ba na pag mag-isa ka lang, e eh malungkot ka na agad? Is this some kind of Gen Z joke? Or sadyang wala na talagang sense of humor ang mga tao ngayon. And of course, what are the things that we may be able to learn from this kind of situation? Let's find out. But first, let me give you a brief context. Pinose ito ng isang Facebook user na si Maha Radia sa kanyang account last August 9 at 7.09pm. Allow me to give you a summary nito dahil chismosa ka. Pare, ha? Chismosa mo! Kwento niya, nakita raw nila si Ate Girl na nasa isang mall sa Starbucks ayala na umiino mag-isa at parang may ginagawa sa laptop niya. Well, that's exactly how it looks like sa mismong picture na pinost niya din. May suot din daw itong earphones kaya for sure, nakikinig ito ng kanta and because of that, naisip daw nila na i-ask ito kung ano daw kanta ang kanyang pinapakinggan. And on the next part of the caption, dito niya na sinabi on what vibe she felt for Ate Girl. Sabi niya rito, I honestly feel bad kay ate kasi baka may pinagdadaanan siya and she feels like nobody is there for her. We wanted to approach her to sit with her so she'll feel better but we're shy. I think her name was Nicole, Nickel, Nicoleosis, Nicki Minaj, or Nicolo. Or I don't know, maybe Nicole yata. I'm not sure po. I hope she knows her worth. And she knows she deserves better. Sa dulo ng caption, sinout out pa nila ito. At sinabihang cheer up at lahat din daw ay magiging okay. At sana hindi daw siya sumuko sa buhay. Now this post almost garnered more than 106,000 reactions and more than 22,000 shares at the time of recording this video. Nakatanggap din ito ng iba't ibang sentiments sa mga netizens. Sabi naman ni Mark Justin Halim, Hahaha, nag time lang, naging problemado na agad. Sabi naman ni Gerald Mendoza Biscocho, Let us be aware na hindi porket mag-isa ay loner na. There are people na mas nag enjoy na mapag-isa. So never judge the lonely. Keep in mind na sometimes it is brave to stand among everyone but it is very courageous to face the whole world alone. Sabi naman ni Ed Zila Yuzo, hindi lahat ng nakain mag-isa ay may pinagdaraanan at dapat may permission kumuha ng picture. Yung iba need privacy and they are better off alone. At the same day at 8.41pm, nagpost ulit ang uploader ng explanation kung saan minention niya si Ate Girl sa picture na kinilalang si Nicole Adele Takando which is obviously kakilala pala niya. Sabi niya rito, Hala shocks, Nicole Adele Takandong. Sana pala hindi na ako naawa sa'yo kasi ako din pala ang aawain ng sambayanan. Bahala ka na po Ate Nicole. I will mind my business na lang po. Pero wala man mi business uy, atay. How po? Wala po ko nag-take og business ad sa college. So nandito, makikita natin na may nag-comment sa baba nun. And itatranslate ko na lang sa Tagalog. Sabi, ang M sa name mo na Maha stands for Mind Your Own Business. <laughs> but bukod dito, she explained na sarcasm lang naman pala ito. Y'all, I'm laughing at all these people attacking me because they didn't learn about sarcasm. Keep it rolling. Ipakita nyo ang inyong kabugok. Meaning, pagkabobo. Pero first of all, ano nga ba muna ang sarcasm? According sa Merriam-Webster Dictionary, sarcasm refers to the use of words that mean the opposite of what you really want to say. Especially in order to insult someone or maybe just to be funny. Meaning to say, kabaliktaran ito ng gusto mong iparating. Kumbaga, pa-joke lang. Maliban dito, nag-post din si Ate Girl ng kanyang side saying that it was just a meme. At maling audience din daw ang na-reach nito. Sabi pa ni Nicole na pinost doon sa picture, kanang nag-meme post Ramon ni Maha, pero it reached the wrong audience. Dapat talaga hiwalay ang mga Facebook ng first time sa internet. In addition to that, malinaw that this post was intended to provide fun and sarcasm online. However, iba ang naging take dito ng karamihan. 
Obviously, magkaibigan naman talaga sila at nagkatuwaan lang yung dalawa. Na kunwaring pagmukain siyang alone at lonely. Now, this is a perfect example na huwag ka agad-agad maniwala sa nakikita at nababasa mo online. Karamihan kasi sa atin, napaka-surface level lang ng information na titrigger ka na agad. So, what are the three things that we may be able to learn from this kind of situation? Number one, bago ka matrigger, check the facts first. Now, this has been a reminder in the internet for so long na wag na wag ka agad maniniwala sa post ng iba. Now, I do know na maybe baka natrigger ka sa lahat ng mga taong nag-post against this post. This is just another example of the Aura Briguela story. Aura! Let's go! Just because we saw one specific information, we totally assume that that is already the truth. Which is not the case. But at the end of the day, this is a perfect example na dapat alamin mo muna ang mga bagay-bagay at mag-observe ka muna bago ka mag-post at mag-comment at mag-react. Number two, learn to observe. At the end of the day, madalas, palagi tayong nagsasabi ng opinion natin. Because the internet, is full of people giving their opinion. I myself is giving my opinion here with you right now. But one thing that I've learned while doing this for a long period of time, Yo, what's up? This is Real Talk Darbs, ang pambansang good sa Marites ng Pilipinas, wherein I'm trying to influence you how to think critically about sa mga recent issues ngayon dito ng Pilipinas. It's not to basically just jump on surface level knowledge. Most of the time, kung ano yung nakikita mo, hindi talaga yun madalas ang buong istorya. And that is the reason why you should allow yourself not to give an opinion right away. Porket meron ka lang nakitang isang opinion or merong isang information because there could be a lot of things that is happening behind the story. So be mindful kasi hindi mo alam nagiging mukhang ka na pala kung nagbibigay ka ng isang opinion sa isang bagay na joke lang pala. Number three, hindi lahat ng joke maganda. These people who's posting this is just trying to have fun with their friends. But at the end of the day, hindi nila inakala that it would reach the wrong people. Now, this is a perfect example that we have to really be very careful of what we post. Kasi somehow, kahit na minsan biruan lang ng babarkada, marami nang makikisaw-saw. At the end of the day, this is not me trying to tell you that you should not have fun at all. And hindi ko sinasabi na kasalanan na nag-post. Kasi trip naman nila yun eh. At para lang yun sa magbabarkada. And it's just their way of trying to show humor to each other. Pero I hope that this video gives us a lesson na hindi lahat ng joke nakakatuwa. Hindi lahat ng joke mo ay tatawa ang ibang tao. So that is the reason why you have to choose your crowd and your tribe wisely. Doon ka sumama sa mga taong pareho kayo ng trip. Real talk. This issue is a perfect example na hindi ka dapat nag-a-assume agad and post it right away sa social media. Lalo na if you're posting other people without their consent. All in all, judging without knowing is like reading one chapter and claiming to know the whole story. So remember to pause first bago ka mag-assume. For the truth, often takes time to reveal itself. This is a warning from the past Make sure you're learning from mistakes that you did last